God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light inaccessible, hid from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name we praise. Unresting, unhasting, and silent as light, nor wanting, nor wasting, thou rulest in might. Thy justice like mountains, high soaring above, thy clouds which are fountains of goodness and love. Great Father of glory, pure Father of light, thine angels adore thee, all veiling their sight. All praise we would render, O oh, help us to see, tis only the splendor of light hideth thee. Amen. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer, and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there. But the humble shall own the land and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God, and, and he, he will do everything, everything for you. you. Turn away from evil, and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn. His bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord they are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying, but the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord 
holds him by the hand. I was young, and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice, and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever, and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The, the Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just and seeks occasion to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land, and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon, I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright. For the peaceful man a future lies in store. But sinners shall all be destroyed. No future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them, and saves them, for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead, then, then follow, follow in, in his way. way. Teach me goodness and holy wisdom. For I have put my trust in your guidance. From the second letter of the Apostle Peter. I intend to recall these things to you constantly, even though you already understand and are firmly rooted in the truth you possess. I consider it my duty, as long as I live, to prompt you with this reminder. I know, by the indications our Lord Jesus Christ has given me, how close is the day when I must fold my tent. I shall press to have you recall these things frequently after my departure. It was not by way of cleverly concocted myths that we taught you about the coming in power of our Lord Jesus Christ for we were eyewitnesses of his sovereign majesty. He received glory and praise from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him out of the majestic splendor. This is my beloved Son, on whom my favor rests. We ourselves heard this said from heaven while we were in his company on the holy mountain. Besides, we possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it, as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place, until the first streaks of dawn appear, and the morning star rises in your hearts. First, you must understand this. There is no prophecy contained in scripture which is a personal interpretation. Prophecy has never been put forward by man's willing it. It is rather that men impelled by the Holy Spirit have spoken under God's influence.
The Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son. We witnessed with our own eyes his sovereign majesty when we were with him on the holy mountain. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son. From a treatise on John by St. Augustine, Bishop. We Christians are the light, at least by comparison with unbelievers. Thus the apostle says, For once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk then as sons of the light. And elsewhere he says, The night is far spent, the day is drawing near. Let us therefore lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk uprightly as in the day. Nevertheless, since the days in which we are now living are still dark compared to the light which we will see, hear what the Apostle Peter says. He speaks of a voice that came from the supreme glory and said to the Lord Christ, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This voice, he says, we heard coming from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain because we ourselves were not present there and did not hear that voice from heaven, Peter says to us. And we possess a more certain prophetic word to which you do well to attend, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. When, therefore, our Lord Jesus Christ shall come and, as the Apostle Paul says, Bring to light things hidden in darkness and make plain the secrets of the heart so that everyone may receive his commendation from God. Then lamps will no longer be needed. When that day is at hand, the prophet will not be read to us. The book of the apostle will not be opened. We shall not require the testimony of John. We shall have no need of the gospel itself. Therefore, all scriptures will be taken away from us those scriptures which in the night of this world burned like lamps so that we might not remain in darkness. When all these things are removed as no longer necessary for our illumination, and when the men of God by whom they were ministered to us shall themselves together with us behold the true and dear light without such aids, what shall we see? With what shall our minds be nourished? What will give joy to our gaze? Where will that gladness come from which eye has not seen and ear has not heard, which has not even been conceived by the heart of man? What shall we see? I implore you to love with me and by believing to run with me. Let us long for our heavenly country Let us sigh for our heavenly home. Let us truly feel that here we are strangers. What shall we then see? Let the gospel tell us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You will come to the fountain, with whose dew you have already been sprinkled, Instead of the ray of light which was sent through slanting and winding ways into the heart of your darkness, you will see the light itself in all its purity and brightness. It is to see and experience this light that you are now being cleansed. Dearly beloved, John himself says, we are the sons of God, and it has not yet been disclosed what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. I feel that your spirits are being raised up with mind to the heavens above, but the body which is corruptible weighs down the soul, and this earthly tent burdens the thoughtful mind. I am about to lay aside this book, and you are soon going away, each to his own business. It has been good for us to share the common light, good to have enjoyed ourselves, good 
to have been glad together. When we part from one another, let us not depart from him. Night will be no more, nor will they need the light of a lamp or the sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they shall reign forever. They shall see him face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. For the Lord God will be their light, and they shall reign forever. Let us pray. Lord, increase our eagerness to do your will, and help us to know the saving power of your love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.